Tickle bullies. Hey, Jackie, guess what? I looked up from the book I was reading to see my boyfriend James sitting down across. We were out of class for the day and had decided to hang out in the cafeteria for a little bit and wait for our other friends to be done with class too. James had stepped out to take a phone call and, by the looks of it, had gotten some great news. What? I asked with a smile, brushing back some of my dark blonde hair. James's brown eyes gleamed as he smiled at me. Kristen's free this weekend. She is? I was pleasantly surprised. Kristen was one of James's oldest friends, but she had graduated a year before us and had taken a job in New York City. The long commute and full-time hours often left her exhausted, so we hadn't seen her in some time. It was a shame too, because I knew that Kristen had once been privy to tickle plots against James. Unfortunately, I hadn't had much of a chance to compare strategies with her. But perhaps now I could. Yeah, James said. And I was wondering something. Oh. I asked playfully. Is this a bid to get out of being tickle tortured? Oh trust me, tickle torture must ensue. James declared. But how about you lure Kristen to your house saying I'm going to be the victim and instead, she ends up in the chair. Ah, the old bait and switch? I asked. Exactly. Besides, Kristen's got ticklish feet too, you know. And since she has to do so much walking to get to her job now, they're bound to be extra sensitive. Sounds good to me, I agreed. Aaron's out of town this weekend, but I think Claudia's free. Great, James said. Why don't we stop by her office and let her know? Then, we can start planning.